Hello my dear grade 7 students, welcome back to Mamuan and Who's channel. So for today, we're about to discuss Science 7, Quarter 1, Module 4, which is entitled, I have less, she has ample, he has more, let us see what's in store. So we are using the printed module of the Department of Education for Grade 7 Science. So we will be discussing lesson number 2, which is all about super saturated solution so let's read the what i need to know part so in lesson one so that is our previous lesson about saturated and unsaturated solution we found out that you need to dissolve a given amount of substance which is the solute in the required amount of water which is the solvent to produce a saturated and unsaturated solution so here in our lesson two you will understand super saturated solution so after going through this lesson, you're expected to number one, define supersaturated solution, two, compare and contrast saturated and supersaturated, and then three, cite the importance of supersaturated solution. For the what I know part, so you have to read each item carefully, write only the letter of the correct answer for each question, use a separate sheet for your answers. So this is a multiple choice test. So this includes 1 to 10 items so that is for the what i know part so let's proceed with the what's in so what you have learned from the previous lesson let's try to check your prior knowledge so let's let me read the procedures for number one arrange the letters of the following scrambled words in column a to make it correct Procedure 2, define each word by matching it to the given sentences in column B. And for number 3, write your answer in column C. So for column A, here are the scrambled uh, letters or words. So we're going to arrange them. And then in this column B, given here are the sentences or the statements that you're going to match with the, with the words in column A. So write down your answer here on the third column for column C. Okay, let's proceed. Look, what is in the picture below? So since the picture is black and white, I'm going to describe what we have in the picture. So on the, on the first picture, it shows uh, a mixture of cocoa. It shows a hot cocoa drink. And then this one, this picture shows a hot coffee. So as we can see, solutes are added to the given mixtures. So here's the question. What will happen to the solutions if you will add more amounts of solutes like sugar in a cup of hot coffee or cocoa powder in your hot cocoa drink? So let's say for example, meron ka ng mixture, meron ka ng nakatimplang hot cocoa drink and hot coffee. So ano kaya ang posibleng mangyari kung mag a ka pa na cocoa powder or mag-add ka pa ng sugar sa hot coffee. So, write down your answer on your tape. Okay, now let's proceed with the what's new. So, this is another experiment entitled Meeting Supersaturated Solution. So, we have the following materials. Sugar, water, beaker, which is 250 ml or plastic cups, steering rod or spoon, alcohol lamp or candle, tripod or any supporting cooking material, uh, wire goes or screen, and matchstick. So if the materials given are not available in your home, you can um, use other uh, improvised materials to replace the materials here. So caution. So remember this. Use carefully the following laboratory instruments or kitchen materials to avoid damage and accident during the kind of activity. Be careful in doing the activity, especially if fire is involved. Make sure the presence of any adult companions while doing this activity. You can ask for help from your parents or your older sisters or brothers or guardians to assist you in doing the experiment. Now, for the beaker, you can replace it uh, with a casserole. For the steering rod, you can use uh, a spoon. 
or the alcohol lamp tripod wire those you can uh, replace this with, with a stove in your kitchen okay so let's proceed with the procedures so number one get your safety goggles and aprons on so this is for you to be protected before performing the experiment Number two, prepare a 250 ml beaker and steering rod. So you can replace the beaker with um, casserole and the steering rod with a spoon. Pwede ng casserola, pwede ng kuchara, or pwede ding gumamit ng uh, sando, binang banghalo. And three, fill the beaker or the casserole with 100 ml of tap water. So you can use a glass of water kung wala bang panukat ng uh, volume of water. Four, slowly add 100 grams of sugar to 100 ml of water and stir it. So, since na-replace natin ito ng 1 glass of water, and then i-replace din po natin ito ng 10 tablespoons of sugar. And stir it. Then, question 1, observe and describe what happens to the solution. And, procedure 5, next, add another 100 grams of sugar to the sugar solution. Step number 4. So instead of 100 grams, let's use 10 tablespoons of sugar. Then, question 2. Do the particles of sugar still dissolve in water? Okay, procedure 6. Heat your solution of at least 80 degrees Celsius and continue adding 100 grams to the same sugar, to the same sugar into your solution. So this time, you're going to heat the solution. So you use your stove and Add another 10 tablespoons of sugar into your solution. Then answer question 3. So this time, what had you observed from the solution? And then question 4. Be specific about the particles. Did they still dissolve in water? Did the water change in color? 7. Stop boiling your solution. So this time, patayin na natin yung fire. So add another 60 grams of sugar. So instead of 60 grams, 6 tablespoons of sugars of sugar. Steer and observe what will happen. Then question 5. Describe your solution. Question 6. What do you call the solution that contains more dissolved solute than a saturated solution does? So basically, that's the title ng lesson natin yan. That's a clue. And for number 8, let your substance cool down at temperature up to 25 degrees Celsius. So, haya mo na lumamig yung solution. And then, for question 7, what have you observed? Question 8, are crystals formed in your solution after cooling it? Okay. So, that is for our activity entitled Me a Super Saturated Solution. Now, if the materials are not available at your home, I can uh, give you a supplemental video to sustain the, the activity showing how to make supersaturated solution. Okay, let's proceed with the what is it part. So when you have when you add more amount of solute in a solution and then you will observe that some particles are left at the bottom of the solution. At this point the solution is said to be saturated. So it is a solution in which the amount of solute is equal to the solute solubility at a given volume and temperature. But during heating of solution, you continue adding solute in a solution and it still dissolves. At this portion, the solution is saturated at a higher temperature. But when allowing the solution to cool down at a normal temperature and the solution crystallizes, the solution is said to be supersaturated solution. It is a solution in which the amount of solute is greater than the solid solubility at a given volume and temperature. So this state is unstable, which by slight agitation causes precipitation. So in this process, some of the solute will come out of the solution. Once precipitation occurs, the end result is a saturated solution. So here, let's look at the diagram here showing the solubility of solution. So for unsaturated solution, more solutes dissolves because it has a lesser amount of solute. So therefore, it will be dissolved in the solvent. 
for the saturated solution, no more solute dissolves. And as an evidence, there is a uh, presence of excess of solid solute at the bottom. Well, for the supersaturated solution, once you apply heat on the solution and the amount of so solute you have added is greater than the amount from the saturated solution, after cooling it down, you can be able to observe crystals at the bottom of the container. So that's the difference of the three. So question, what do you think are the differences and similarities between saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated solution? So write down your answer here in the part of what's more. So we're going to use a Venn diagram. So we're going to compare and contrast between saturated and unsaturated solution. Write the similarities at the center of the diagram and their differences in both sides of the diagram. So you're going to um, describe, sorry, this is super saturated. So the similarities, so you're going to write them at the center and the differences of saturated and super saturated on both sides. Now, for the what I have learned part, so we have part A, we're going to classify whether the solution described is saturated or unsaturated or supersaturated. So here are the given. These are your, this will be your basis. This is the saturated solution. So given the following data, we identify the type of solution. So for part B, read a statement inside the box and identify if the following solutions are saturated, unsaturated, or supersaturated solutions below. So the given is a solution containing 200 grams of sucrose or table sugar in 100 ml of water at 25 degrees Celsius is a saturated solution. So this will be your basis for you to identify if the given statements show a saturated an unsaturated or supersaturated solution. Now, for the what I can do for it. So, congratulations for the job well done, students. Now, to develop your writing skill, kindly make or compose a poem related to supersaturated solution. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. So, make sure you're going to write down the title and the poem. And then, for the assessment, so this is the post test. This is a multiple choice test. So, you're going to answer the questions here. So we have 15 items for the assessment. So write down the letter of the answer. And then for the additional activities, if you are able to understood our lesson for today, you can be able to skip these additional activities, but I will also explain the instructions. So prepare the following materials. So balance, each solving scale, beaker, plastic cup, thermometer, steering rod, spoon, retreated cylinder, any measuring cup, funnel, sewing chloride, and table salt. So procedures. You're going to make your own procedure for determining the solubility of sodium chloride or salt in water at 30 degrees Celsius. To create a supersaturated solution using table salt as your solute. And then three, make an observation regarding the result of your activity. So just in case the materials given are not available in your home, you can be able to, to skip this part. Most especially when you, re when you understood the lesson, you can skip this additional activities. Okay, so that's it. We're done with lesson number two of our module number four. If you have some questions, please. Uh, if you have some questions on our lessons, you can message me for me to answer your queries or questions about such as about supersaturated solutions. Okay, that's all for today, my dear grade seven students. Good luck and God bless. Bye.